Alright, hello fun and welcome back to Starfield, where today we are back here at the Lodge after I did spend a bit of time off camera collecting a couple of additional temples. I got three new powers out of the whole deal, didn't have a lot of time off cam, uh, but I got, oh boy, now I don't remember which symbols they were. <laughs> I really wish this UI was just a list because I never, I always end up having to go through all these things to find them. Hey, there was one of the new powers, create vacuum. I can pull the oxygen out of an area, which is actually kind of nifty. I don't think I'd ever use it, but it sounds fun. I think, you know, I'm actually pretty sure this was one. Yeah, sunless space I also got, which will freeze people. That one actually might be kind of interesting to use. And what was the last one? I think it was down here. So, ah, there it is. Earthbound. We can create a localized area of Earth gravity? Why? <laughs> now, if it was gravity on myself, that'd actually be pretty useful for, like, those really high gravity worlds that it always sucks using your uh, boost pack on because high gravity. So that'd be cool. But why on a low gravity world would I want to make myself Earth grav? Plus, it's also not yourself. It's in an area. So I don't see why this would be useful in any way, shape, or form. I mean, maybe you could do something funny with it in Zero-G to an enemy, but... I don't know. I don't see it being very useful. <laughs> Admittedly, most of the powers in here that the Starborn have, I don't, I don't see the use. The only two I ever use are Reactive Shield and Sense Star Stuff. That's it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> the rest are just forgotten by me. Especially considering I only have so many favorite slots and most of those are taken up by guns that I always also forget to use. Instead, I just always use my good old Eon. Heck yeah. <laughs> now, I was going back to the temples, uh, going to collect a fourth temple off cam, hoping, hoping beyond hope that maybe I'd get the Necromancer power. But sadly, uh, the next one that I got from Vlad uh, is 28 light years away, which our Star Eagle cannot do. And in fact... At the time, when I was off cam, the only ships I remembered could do that were, of course, my own custom-built ships, which break temples, which is a problem. And the... oh god, what was it called? The one we got from the Stroud Eklund quest. Was it Kepler? I think that was it. Hold on, let's go over and find it. Yeah, the Kepler S. But, of course, this thing came with zero weaponry, so I don't like taking anywhere out of fear of, you know, getting shot at. And if I do add weapons, it would break like my other vessels. <laughs> I would not be allowed to go to temples with it anymore, which is super annoying. I then found out, though, when I was messing around before starting the episode, that apparently the ecliptic rapier we could have taken, that actually does have a pretty decent range and, of course, guns. And being one I've never modified, it would probably still be okay to head to a temple without breaking. But, oh well, it would just be, unless it was the Necromancer power, it would just be another power I would never use. <laughs> so yeah, I, I, think, I think I'm done with the temples. I don't, I don't know why I collected as many as I did anyways, because again, I only ever use the two <laughs> out of all the things. So, oh well, oh well, such is life, and such is the end for us. Because since I've given up on the temples, we're going to uh, build the armillary on our ship and see what's going to happen with the Unity. I'm intrigued. So, yeah, let's, let's head back to our ship. I don't know why I decided to start this episode at Constellation, <laughs> but... I mean, I was dropping off some stuff I found on my journeys to the temples up in my room, but then I really should have left. <laughs> oh, oh, I guess I was also talking to Vlad about the next thing, the next temple, and he gave me that one. But, oh well, still, our job is the Armillary. So to our ship we head. No, no, not the ocean. There we go, my ship. Nice. Okay, yeah, let's add in the remaining artifacts we have into this thing. And then see what happens with Unity. And then that will be it for this series. I'm guessing it's probably not going to take too long to go through Unity, but who knows? Maybe it'll be some very long, drawn-out thing, and it'll be the next two episodes. 
I have no idea. But I'm intrigued to see how it does go, though like I said in the last episode and in the past previously, I don't plan for that to be the canon ending for my character. We'll return back to our world, because I don't see the point in New Game Plus. But okay, get up from our chair. And back to the armillary. There we go. Oh yeah, Hadrian, I forgot you're still here. Hey, do you care about Unity? <laughs> Do you know? Need a hand with something? No, no. Oh, God. I can't. She's getting up, and I can't talk to her now until she's up. Uh, Adrian. Captain? Yeah, no. She, it's only Constellation people. That seems rude. So we could have potential non-Constellation friends like Hadrian and Amelia, and uh, we can't take them through Unity? That seems very rude. <laughs> How dare us? How dare us? I don't know why that bothers me so much, but it does. I mean, again, I'll Constellation as a group is just meh to me. Some of the other people might be a lot more fun to go through Unity with than them. But, oh well, armillary screen. Add artifacts. You've completed the armillary. Once you power up your grav drive, you'll jump to Unity. Remove the armillary from your ship if you need to grab jump to anywhere else. <laughs> All right, let's do this thing. Power up the grav drive and jump somewhere. Sweet. Yeah, let's do this thing. I'm going to get to space first. Oh, I wonder if this bug fixed itself. Probably not. Let's find out. Wait for... Oh, I don't have my pips. I guess because we're landed. Well, take off. Got to get into space anyways to jump somewhere. Yep, they're still broke. Where are we off to this time, Captain? Amelia, shut it. We're going to Unity. Despite you not having an opinion on it, I guess, too. You know, I should check with her, but oh well. Yeah, for some reason, despite the fact that I've gone to the, uh, you know, the people at the landing pads to fix my ship to do so, I have pips that I can't use. Granted, they're at power levels. I never put pips far enough into them. You can see with engine and grav. I don't know why, but for some reason, some of my pips are not... Oh, hey, one of them just fixed itself. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. I paid the money to get my ship fixed. That's been going for a while, ever since I was starting to do all the temples. But, oh well, let's take uh, one out of engines. One into grav. Oh, just straight away. I figured we'd have to, like, do a fake grav jump. <laughs> no, we just put the pip. We just put the pip in. <laughs> nice. All right. Well, let's see what this is. Still curious if the other... Starborn can find another way through to another system or another universe. I don't know. Oh, hey, it's just me. With no helmet? Okay. What do we got? Besides a lot of sparkles. Why is everything with Unity sparkles? The artifacts, the Starborn, the really annoying temple minigame. Oh, oh, I can actually... <laughs> I thought we were watching a cutscene. I thought we were watching a cutscene. I didn't realize I have control. <laughs> it really looks like a cutscene. That's us in front of us, right? That's what I figured it was. I figured it was going to be a cutscene of us walking towards the whatever the crap Unity is. <laughs> nope. Nope. We're here. Can I? No oh, hey. Yeah, look at me. Nifty. Third person. Ooh. Weird effect on us. All right, well, back to first person. I know he's playing. Hello, me in a constellation suit. You know, I should have I should have realized it wasn't a cutscene when I noticed they were wearing a constellation suit. I clearly am not. All right, hello, most likely me. How are you? How's this gonna go down? Can I manipulate un Unity with the thing in my head? That'd be funny. Hey, me. You made it. Hi. I hope you're enjoying the view. I mean, it's pretty pretty nice I never get tired of staring at it eternity uh-huh you you're me now nah, it's clearly unity uh, I don't sound anything like that Duh, it's unity so this is uh, unity I was expecting more <laughs> is this the end the afterlife heaven are you now nah, I'm going with this one it amuses me too much I was expecting more the infinite only exists Judging it makes no difference. You know, fair. Fair. 
I am as much you as you are a part of everything. Uh huh. All points connect to here. When a star is born or dies, its existence beats through the heart of this place. Okay. The unity. Right. I have seen all you are, have been, and could be. Do you feel like you've lived a good life? Is there anything you regret? Ah, uh, always. <laughs> so wait, am I, am I dead? It is a question mark, so it should not take us away from these. But first, though, I've done all I can and made peace with what I couldn't. <laughs> no, 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 I haven't. I mean, well, we all have regrets, if we're honest anyways. I mean, very true. I did what I pleased and took what I wanted. Being good was never the plan. I mean, let's be honest. We were never... We never really did that. We, of course, took things for cash. Did stuff for cash, but... We never went, like, full banded. We did a lot of smuggling, but... But first, so wait, am, am I actually dead? I don't know. Do you feel dead? I don't know. You are energy. And energy cannot be destroyed. Nah, sweet. Okay. Well, I'll go with this one, because that's the most true. I mean, we all have regret, re regrets? Regrets, if we're honest, anyways. Fair. I wonder what your decision will be, then. Mm-hmm. In order to become Starborn... You must give the universe one last thing. Oh. Yourself. Okay. That intangible part of you. That something that makes you unique amongst the infinite will explode like a supernova. Mm-hmm. A part of you will fuse with the essence of this universe. Neat. While another part leaves it behind forever. Oh, uh, okay. Do you understand what I mean? This one final leap will change this universe forever, even as you leave it behind. Okay, okay. Starborn said I would be reborn. This sounds like death. Well, and rebirth. Skip the part where I become more power. Skip the part where I become more powerful. This is all too much, I don't understand. Wait, the artifacts, the temples, the armillary. Who created them and why? Yes! Unknowingly, you just answered your own questions. What? For who creates things but creators? That is what they have been named throughout the endless circle of time. Okay. Are they one or many? Human or alien? Terrestrial or celestial? One day, you might even meet the creators, but not this day. God As damn it. for the why. So that you could ask that very question. So that you could stand before me for time immemorial and delve into the mysterious of the unending cosmos. Uh-huh. Okay, at least the why I'm happy with, but the who was a real runaround answer there. That was shit. <laughs> Got no answers. <laughs> God damn it. Oh. The why made sense, though. All right, well... I mean, I guess I'll go with this one. I don't really care for the other two. Yeah. Much like the death of a star creates new kinds of matter, so will the part of your being become fused with the unity itself. Mm -hmm. That part is what becomes starborn and crosses into the multiverse. Right. Through your eyes, it will be as if waking up from a dream. Oh, okay. Walk into the gate of light, and you will become starborn. Everything will vanish, and you will awaken somewhere else. Interesting. But that isn't your only potential destiny. Okay. You can turn around, walk away from the unity until the stars fade away, and you will wake up on your own ship. In your universe, you could live out the life you have. Okay. I have enjoyed speaking to you once again. All of you. Every version that is here in the unity, right now. Go out into the stars. Okay, bye bye All right, good, though. I was a little bit worried that I'd have to revert to, like, the old save. Uh, As you consider oh, stepping towards infinity, uh -huh. I offer you a glimpse into what will happen to the universe you may be leaving. Oh! As the essence of who you are is spread throughout space and time. Okay, well, like I was saying, uh, I'm actually pleased about this, because I was a little bit worried that once we did the jump... 
to Unity that it was no going back, that the very act of coming here would lock us in, but that's good. So we're gonna quick save. Well, I'm gonna quick save here, but then I'm also gonna quick save after. Yeah, shut it, you. I'm gonna go take a look at all the things. First, Andreja. Hi, Andreja. Oh, I can't run. Oh no, it's only walk speed. Oh, uh, hi, Andreja. Your lover, Andreja, uh -huh. eventually chooses to be reborn herself. Okay. Your commitment to each other bolsters all relationships in the settled systems. Oh, lovely. Marriages blossom. How sweet. More people in House Varun begin to question its orthodoxy and look to the outside world. Wait, seriously? <laughs> How the balls does that all happen from us getting married and reborn? <sighs> Who knows? Who the hell is this over here? <laughs> Oh, it looks like Ryujin? Oh, yeah, 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 okay. So he's not, he's, it, ooh, Unity's not gonna be happy with that part of me, is it? All right, hi. How's it going? Ryujin Industries mass produces the internal neuro lamp. Neat. Which becomes the killer device every negotiator, wow, that was diplomat, a and salesperson Weird purchases. sound glitch. When people think of success, they think of Ryujin, whether they want to or not. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm what was that sound glitch intentional or was that something with the game going wonky? I don't know, but it worries me either way. All right, I'm gonna go over to this someone studying the creators. At least we got a freaking name now. Uh, the creator stuff, which is nifty, but who I'm not recognizing him from a distance. Hold on, getting closer. God, I wish I could run. Why did they not let me run? <laughs> Why would they do this to me? Hey, folks. By defeating both the hunter and the emissary, Sweet. the path to the unity in this universe is left for the people of the settled systems to discover on their own. Oh. Uninterrupted by powerful starborn. Oh. Okay, so there are more ways to unity. Good. I mean, it's still not explained well how, because everything really seems to focus around these artifacts, and I just brought them all here. So I still don't understand how that part works, but okay, if there is still a path to unity, then, you know, nifty. Nifty. Still want to know how. <laughs> all right, how about this stuff? Oh, how's Constellation doing? Hey, guys. It's old Vlad. Long time no see. Literally yesterday. The Constellation membership who stays behind will in time publish their data about the discovery of the artifacts, uh -huh. the Starborn, uh -huh. and the Unity. Nifty. Space exploration across the settled systems is given new life. Oh, well, that's nice. As people search for hope out there in the stars. Oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. What's going on here? Is that a dead Ron Hope? Ron Hope's downfall proves once again that the Free Star Rangers put justice above petty power plays and politics. Mm -hmm. A sense of good commitment for me. to the common good grows throughout the Free Star Collective. Acts of heroism and noble sacrifice increase. I don't know if that's a good thing. That could lead to a lot of vigilantism too. Oh boy. But okay. Oh, and how the Asilis turn out. And... God, I wish I could run! The resurrection of the Asili species leads to a massive reduction in terramorph attacks across the settled systems. Yay! At the same time, the need to spread the Asili's far and wide increases cooperation between all the factions. Nice. Oh they God, hi, the my buddy. See as the diplomatic leader of the settled systems grows. Ooh, I don't know. That's good. <laughs> but okay, nice peaceful solution. Anything else that I'm missing? Does not appear to be the case. All right, well, let's quick save over by him again. And then, yeah, I'm curious to see what's on the other side of Unity, so I'm going to bring you guys along for that. But then we'll come back to this save and walk the balls out of here. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, because screw New Game Plus. I just, I just see no point. Did I? I didn't see the little thing pop up, but it was quick saving. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be, so I don't trust it. I mean, yeah, it said it. It is indeed 9.07 a.m. Okay, never mind. I'll trust it then. I'll trust it then. No. New slot. 
<laughs> just to be on the safe side. All right, into Unity you go. Let's see what this does. Let's see what happens when we go through the other Although side. You leave oh, this universe behind. Uh huh. A new universe awaits you. Who will you be in this one? What choices will you make? Yeah, see, that's my problem with New Game Plus. Choices don't matter in this game because they have zero consequences, which is why I don't plan on staying with New Game Plus. So, um, that's a moot point. All right, in we go. Away! One giant leap complete. One giant leap. Uh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> God, this is loud. I'm gonna have to turn this down in editing. Jesus, it's so much louder than the rest of the game. Nifty, though. All right. Certainly a pretty view, but how long is it going to take? <laughs> Ooh, that would actually make a beautiful wallpaper. I'm going to have to screenshot that later. That is actually a beautiful wallpaper. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm definitely going to screenshot that later and turn it into my wallpaper. That was beautiful looking. Okay, so what happens now when we go through into Unity? What is going to occur? Oh, credits. <laughs> I mean, normally I sit through credits, but let's continue this. Oh, I, I can't. I can't. It's not letting me hit escape or anything. Oh, really? Re really? <laughs> You're not letting me skip through this? I'm actually going to have to sit through the entirety of the credits? Boy, that's a choice. Uh... Huh. Alright, well, I'll skip through them for you guys. So I'll bring you back in a moment. Really? We can't exit out of this? We have to sit through this no matter what? I mean, good for all these people who made the game, even if it is, in my opinion, mediocre. Still, good on all of you creators. You were just hobbled by corporate <laughs> i'm going to assume uh but yes uh still though forcing you to sit through credits to get into new game plus is kind of annoying oh hey there we go we finally got a skip tab <laughs> thank god oh oh we're in one of these stupid looking ships oh starborn one small step new mission that is what you have become, a being who has touched the infinite. Your story is over, but will begin anew in this universe and countless others. You remember all you have learned. Your possessions and everyone you knew have been left behind. Yeah, that also annoys me. All my things. Explore this new universe and all it offers, and perhaps take another trip through the unity. Oh, we're in Narian, huh? Cool, nifty. Uh, oh, hey, we got one of the starboard suits now. Yay, I still have no idea where they keep getting these from. <laughs> that kind of annoys me. <laughs> I need explanations, people. How do all the starborn have these cool looking suits? Because it, it is pretty nifty looking. I really do like it, actually. I mean, not as much as the explorer suit. I still think that one's my favorite, but this is pretty cool looking. Pretty sweet. Uh, and how do they also get ships? I got nothing, huh? Just a starborn suit? It doesn't even come with a helmet? Huh. I mean, not bad. Not bad. What's his other stats here? His stats here? Beast Hunter. More James Alien enemies. Airborne resistance. Chance to reduce damage by 50% while standing still. Balance boost pack. Okay, so it's got it's got a boost pack built in. Full spacesuit. I mean, honestly though, besides the pretty nifty stats up here. There's probably better armor out there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Okay, and yeah, we're level 60. We've got all of our things. Just still building off of the same character again. I don't see why you would want to do that, but that's a personal thing with me. I like having new characters with new stories in roleplay games. And yeah, we have these um, Starborn ships Woo, with nothing in them of value. It's purely a ship. Hmm. Well, this is at least it's roomy. <laughs> Let's see how it controls real quick. Now that we can actually fly one of these. You know, now I'm also curious, can we, like, board other Starborn vessels? Wow! Look at how little pips we have in for these. What? <laughs> so we do have, yeah, a missile and a something. Nifty. How's the speed? Interesting effect when you boost in this one. It goes all wibbly-wobbly, which is kind of strange. God, you know, I remember their ships being pretty slow when we fought them in space. Yeah, it's they're not very fast, are they? <laughs> What's the jump range of them? 30 light years. Okay, so comparable to, you know, mid-tier A and B class ships. Starborn Guardian, huh? Look at how little cargo it has. Ew. <laughs> yeah, it's honestly not that great of a ship. I mean, I've never really cared for the styling of it. It looks just weird and over-engineered to me. Uh, but stat-wise, it's also not great. <laughs> I have many better ships than this back in my uh, old life. All right, and what is our actual quest now here? I've been reborn in a new universe. I should head back to the lodge and see if I can pick up the trail of the artifacts. Huh. Don't care. I mean, I am happy about one thing. I was really worried it was going to put us back into our original life starting at the, uh, the dig site. So that's at least kind of nifty that we don't. I'm happy about that. It's basically like an alternate start. Uh, but still, but still don't care for new game plus <laughs> why'd i go back in here so we are in narian huh oh by the argos extracting mining outpost hey do i still know about everything no i've definitely been to those star stations nira no i've been there okay so now we don't remember everything a lot of I just want to double check some stuff. Cheyenne. No, I want to look. I don't want to travel. I want to look. Damn it. <laughs> God damn it. I hate this. <laughs> I want to look there. I guess because I haven't explored them yet, I can't go into their things. Nice. So never mind. We don't remember any of the previous stuff. Which, I mean, when given a ship and a suit, you'd think they could have at least let us remember some data. Hmm. Well. Screw that noise. <laughs> Let's turn around. Yeah, I really don't care about that Starborn ship. I, I don't like the styling. I don't like its stats. You can get build and get much better ships. Granted, granted, building your own ships I've had that glitch with. So um, that's at least a, a, a 30 light year jumping ship that won't break things for me, which is, that's nice at least. But okay, let's head on back to Unity and hightail it out. <laughs> Screw New Game Plus. I don't, I don't, I don't like it. All right, run away. I mean, I would run, but it doesn't let me run. Who made that choice? <laughs> Alright, he said just walk away until the galaxies and stuff fade. How long is that going to take? Oh, oh, I'm starting to see some things fade. At least I thought. I think that might... Oh, no, 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 no. I think we're good. I think... I think it's... I think it's trailing? I think... I think it's trailing off with all the particles? Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Turn around real quick. Wow, we didn't get that far. Sucks when you can only walk. 
You are reaching the edge of the star field. Uh huh. Oh, Go they said the name. <laughs> and you will return to your original universe. Sweet. We thank you. We will oh. be waiting for you. Should you come back? Oh, okay. That's actually kind of nifty. So if you do eventually decide one day you do want to go New Game Plus, you have the option to come back. That's actually pretty nice. If you, you ever do decide to do so, you know, you're not locked out. I mean, granted, I know I was complaining about choices in the world. <laughs> and honestly, I like when it locks you out of things because, hey, choices have consequences. But considering we now know of Unity, that actually kind of makes sense that we would eventually be able to change our mind. And maybe we can find it through a different means, or are we always going to have that quest where we need to just disable the armillary? The artifacts have been added to your inventory. Rebuild the armillary on your ship to return, which still begs the question, how the balls do other people get to Unity if I have all the artifacts? <laughs> I still don't get it. Are there more artifacts? Like, how many of these damn things are scattered out there? I don't know. I don't know. It's never been explained, and it's going to annoy me for freaking ever. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't know, maybe a DLC or some secondary or tertiary thing they release for this will be added to the wiki one day giving an explanation. But for now, it annoys me. So yeah, we're just always and forever going to have one giant leap there in our mission log. Oh, well that's it for this game then <laughs> will i return for the dlcs honestly i don't know i don't know my final thoughts on this game were i have had fun i have had fun but it's the most mediocre bethesda rpg they've ever made in my opinion and with the most bugs i've ever encountered personally in a bethesda game i know bethesda games have always been you know known for being buggy but honestly i've rarely ever encountered them this one i've encountered loads <laughs> oh god my poor umbra i can't use it anymore because it breaks multiple other things so um yeah yeah overall i did still have fun but definitely bethesda's most mediocre game they've ever made which depresses me for the future with uh elder scrolls especially if they make the elder scrolls not have uh, consequences to choices like they did for here in Starfield. That may make me not want to play the next Elder Scrolls game, if that's the case, <laughs> to be honest with you. <laughs> but, oh well, such is life. That's what we got. Again, had fun, but overall, kind of a meh game. But hopefully you have enjoyed this series and come back for uh, what we do take a look at next. Honestly, I'm not 100% sure right now. We've still got about a month, roughly, until Fallout London is supposed to release, which definitely is going to be my next daily series. God, I can't wait for that. That looks like it's going to be so much fun. Uh, but until then, we'll probably do some smaller things. But what they'll be, I don't know. But hopefully you have enjoyed this and come back for whatever is next. But until that time, thank you for What's watching. That, and as always, we'll have a good one. <laughs>